friends welcome to hcit we are going to derive the equations of uniform accelerated motions there are certain ways to derive these equations so we are just going to demonstrate that uh, how by the different ways you can reach the same equations let us just understand the basic root now we everybody knows that average acceleration that will be equal to delta v upon delta t where delta v is the change in velocity delta t is change in time so we can write a equals to like v2 minus v1 t2 minus t1 let us say the time interval is t exactly so we can write it's a which is equal to v2 minus v1 upon t and we can write a t that is equal to v2 minus v1 or in normal ways we normally say v is the final speed and u is the initial speed so instead of writing v2 i will write v and instead of writing v1 i will write u so here it is v equals to u plus at so that is the first equation uniform accelerated motion now if object is moving with the uniform acceleration then its average speed can be denoted by the final speed plus initial speed divided by 2 so the average speed v bar will be v plus u by 2 because the acceleration is uniform now the distance covered by the object is average speed multiplied by time because v is equal to x by t everybody knows that so x equals to v plus u 2 into t now if i substitute the value of v <coughs> from this equations i found that v equals to u plus at so let us just substitute the value it's x which is equal to u plus at plus u divided by 2 into t so x equals to 2u plus at divided by 2 into t so this is 2u by 2 into t plus at by 2 into t so that will be ut plus half at square this is the second equation of uniform accelerated motion if i take the value of t from this equation which will be t is equal to v minus u divided by t v2 is v v1 is u so t is equal to it's actually acceleration a if i substitute the value of t in this equation so i will get x which is equal to v plus u divided by 2 into v minus u divided by a so if i take 2a this side it will be 2ax which is equal to v plus u v minus u which will be v square minus u square so this is the third equation of uniform accelerated motion so this is the first way by that you can easily derive this particular thing now we are going to do the second idea the second idea is related with the graph we are going to draw a graph of an object v versus t graph on y axis we are going to take v on x axis we are going to take time suppose an object is starting from v0 so its initial speed at time t is equal to 0 its speed is v0 suppose here it is v0 and in time t its speed is become sub something v like the final speed is v or you can take initial speed is u and acceleration during that is a so we need to find the uniform accelerated equation using this particular idea so first it travels from u to v so acceleration will be y upon x so here y is equal to v minus u x 0 to t so it's t we will find v equals to u plus at this is our first equation uniform accelerated motion now the second idea the distance x in v versus t graph if you want to find the distance distance is the area covered under the graph so this will be the area so how can we find that area it's quite simple this particular area is divided in two symmetric diagrams like this one is a rectangle and that one is a right angle triangle so if you want to find the distance covered by the object 
during t time so we need to just find the area of this diagrams so distance covered that is equal to area of this rectangle that is u length and breadth so it is ut plus that is a triangle triangle triangle's area is half base it's t into altitude which is total it is v it is u so this particular thing is v minus u so altitude is v minus u and there is already t out there i'm going to take the value of v minus u from this equation so that is v minus u which is equal to at so i'm going to substitute here so x is equal to ut plus half at square okay so this one is the second equation of uniform accelerated motion now to find the third equation or to derive the third equation i am taking the value of t from this equation and substituting in this particular equation so i will get x which is equal to u and t time is equal to v minus u divided by a so it's just v minus u divided by a plus half a t square is v minus u divided by a whole square so x is equal to it's u v minus u square by a plus one of the a will cancel out because it's a square out there so you will find it is 1 by 2 v minus u square divided by a so you will get x which is equal to u v minus u square by a plus 1 by 2 v square minus 2 v u plus u square divided by a take the lcm 2a you will find it is 2 u v minus 2 u square plus v square minus 2 vu plus v square u square divided by 2a so it is 2 uv 2 uv cancel out x is equal to minus 2u square plus 2u square it is minus u square and v square so v square minus u square upon 2a so it is 2 ax that equals to v square minus u square so this one is the third equation of uniform accelerated motion so this is another idea you can derive the same equation using graph idea Now we are going to take the third idea. Third idea is all about differentiation and integration. We can derive the same equations using differentiation and integration idea. So we know that acceleration is equal to dv by dt, and speed that is equal to dx by dt. Here v is velocity and x is distance or displacement. You can say. Now uniform acceleration is out there. let us take this equation a is equal to dv by dt i am taking dt this side i will find it is dv which is equal to a dt if i integrate both the side as my speed is varying from u to v initially it is it was u finally it is v now acceleration is constant and time is varying from 0 to t so i will write it is dv ka integration v is from u to v acceleration is constant and integration of dt is t limit is 0 to t so it will be v minus u that equals to at so v equals to u plus at and that is the first equation of uniform accelerated motion now we know that v equals to dx by dt so it is dx which is equal to v dt now my displacement is changing from 0 to x but speed is changing from u to v so it is dx so integration of dx will be x from 0 to x we know that v which is equal to u plus at so i am going to substitute u plus at dt and time is changing from 0 to t so it is x which is equal to u dt u is constant it will come out integration of dt will be t plus at ka kya ho jayega a will be t square by 2 So the second equation comes out. It's u t plus half a t square. So this will be the second one. And you know the third one. How to find it? You just need to substitute the value of t from this equation. You will find the third one, which is you now it two a x, which is equal to v square minus u square. So these are three different ways you can reach the same equations using different different ideas. 
you can use the simple equation idea or graph idea or the dif differentiation integration idea to reach the same equation of uniform accelerated motion. Thank you.